Asante Sana for joining us for another classic episode of The Wicked Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Now, before we start the show, before I even tell you about the Nokia T20 tablet and its powerful battery, battery power, Yakushida, the whole day, I need, to, I need you to help me with something. Please. Now, I noticed that the Roots Party presidential candidate, George Wajakoya, are going to accent the same Namze Harrison Mogokwama. Is it true? Is it just me I'm, I'm overthinking? I'm warning that cabinet minister, he'll be the first one I'll suck when I take over the authority. Wasijana yote ambao wanatembea hapa na pale usiku, wanafaa nguo fupi na hitu wa pusikat. Hii area yangu, nyawita sub location, nimekata. Hii chama ni chama ya wenye Kenya, watu ambayo wamemea kama mumea. Hii ndiyo picha yangu, usiku kama unapita hapa, unaona, unafikiri mimi hiko, lakini... Me was an askew accent ni the same. I, I just shared it because I found it interesting how two people can have uh, how two people can sound the same and have a totally different stand on the same thing. Ada ukienda ukienda Israel, ada ukienda Uganda, ukienda South Africa ama Uholanzi, ama uende Canada, ama uende Zimbabwe, bangi mealalishwa. Na sasa bangi na ribu kichwa ya vijana. Anasinda vijana kasi, awezi kufanya kasi. Na mimi kama sini assistant chief, area yangu hii, sitaki bangi yoyote, uh, mutu natembea nae. Kupatikana, tutakusika, tupreke we mbele, usitakiwe ujibu masitaka. Anyway, that was not part of the show. Just a curious thing I wanted to share with you and get your opinion on. Now, by the way, your video of Jakoya, the clip, yanye nili notice na yu accent ilikuwa during his campaigns in Kisumu, where he reportedly campaigned for his competitor, the Azimio presidential candidate, Raila Odinga. Nataka kwa advice baba, wanake baba nrafiki yangu. Baba eno siyepna. Kita lo baba tibeni itala. Kita lo jaramungiti itala. Kita lo abulguambo ti itala. Uwinjo mano kuwinjo. Wengine nakuja hapa natukana baba ati hile mtu ya vitendawili. Walikuwa hapi baba kiwa kwa jela. The Roots Party leader also said that a win for Raila or himself would be a victory for the entire Western Kenya. Now what I found interesting is what haters can say that um, yo wajakoya lienda kukampaign ya Raila Kisumu because someone would assume Raila does not need to campaign in Kisumu. In fact, haters wanasema wajakoya kukampaign ya Raila in Kisumu ni kama hile kitu mademu fanya. Dema na kuomba pesa ya kuku surprise on your birthday. Wewe tuwe doa ende ya kunulie eh, surprise yako ya your birthday. Why do you think instead of celebrating, men usually worry when their lady promises to buy them a birthday gift? Simple. Ju kama si socks, kitu yote ingine, hiyo pesa ni wewe unatoa. Guess what, babe? I'm getting you an, a car for your birthday. That should make you happy, but what's the reaction? <laughs> babe, maze misine hiyo pesa sahi. Because you know. Now, well, uh, Professor has since responded uh, to the claims of campaigning for Raila by making this clarification. You have to apply intelligence and logic wherever you are in a place. You also have to know that when you're a soldier commanding your troops and you go in an e enemy territory, you have to use any other means to get out of that alive. So Therefore, basically, with the 48 one, laws of power, you didn't want to outshine the boss, right? Well, in the yes, area. you don't outshine the boss. Like now, Uhuru Kenyatta is my boss. Even if I differ with him, when I see him, I'll say, Your Excellency, how are you? That is the kind of nature we want. What about if I go to Eldoret and I say the same thing? What will people say? That's an interesting admission from a politician, if you ask me. Ukienda Kisumu, you say what you think the people of Kisumu want to hear. Ukienda Eldoret, you say what you think the people of Eldoret want to hear. Maybe even your roots party walisikia watu wanaenda naivasha, waka promise dogi. Hiyo ndo sasa siyasa ya kutuwa nyoka pangoni. Watu walienda naivasha wanajua chenye na maanisha. And speaking of naivasha, that's all people talked about last week. Safari Rally is back. And it, is, it had gone. It was stopped for over 20 years because of safety issues. Wakenya walijaivi naivasha maze to watch the rally. Voluntarily proving that when Kenyans are interested, you don't have to ferry them to a rally. But the good news is 
Safari Rally is back after over 20 years. And one of the highlights from that event, it's reported that Naivasha ran out of condoms on day one. Yes, the Safari Rally was back, but Kenyans were like, safety first. Now, uh, <laughs> when magazine, kuna the, the lady who won it was magazine, but at gunpoint, one of the winners by the way, at gunpoint, I can guess that 98% of what wali and Naivasha hata wajwini nani ali win. But who knows? Who am I? Also, musician Bahati hit the headlines again for the same reasons as last time. The Madare MP ticket. Diaz Mio, do we still want the youth? If we're not wanted, tell us. Tuambieni. Now, your decision ya kuzon Madare constituency and Azimio, so mtoto wa mama engage in a back and forth with the ODM Secretary General Edwin Sifuna, which saw Sifuna drag Bahati's wife Diana into the mix. Diana was just chilling. But with the hate that people have for this young family, kuna mtuata haezi ya mini Diana ame chill. Now, this was a low blow. Hapo mweshimiwa as in um, Sifuna, hakufanya poa mazi. People should leave family out of politics. I don't know why every time Bahati is dealing with something, people have to bring up his wife, Diana. Bahati haezi and independent. But then again, kuna haters, huwana nikama Bahati ya me, kaliwana Diana, so... What is he going to say in the August house if he doesn't have a say in his own house? Well, Bahati, on the other hand, has maintained that he's going to be on the ballot. I have not stepped down for anyone. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, the other candidate was told to step down for Bahati Kiyoko. Now, I honestly think people should let Bahati go for it, especially while we are Bahati and a talent. Maybe politics is one way as a pataki power. Now, talking about power, how about conservation? Power conservation. Tuko hapa na gadget ya power sana. Na by then imba sana 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 about but ya the uh, Nokia T20 tablet. And if I actually, uh, I can just show you, equal 76%. Uh, if you look carefully, equal 76%. Alafu, it actually says hapa, uh, I know you can read, equal na more than two days of power left. Kama umechoka kutumia simu, inatumia moto kama pasi ya mafridge. Unajwa kuna simu lazima utumie na ikiwa kwa charge. This is the device for you. It's a one-stop entertainment hub that also doubles up as a mobile office. Hapa uki watu wale wa Netflix, cinema, ina flu vizuri sana. And you can also watch your favorite videos on YouTube. Vipua kabisa. It's, I call it a mobile office because, uh, like I say, for the people, uh, squeezy world, you may move digital. You want to do a Zoom meeting. It's a, it has a 10.4 uh, inch screen, which is a scratch resistant. Nata kwezo features kidogo zenye nimeongea, you can already tell I've not even scratched the surface. Not many gadgets out there that, has a, that have a battery that can last over eight hours on heavy use. An interesting fun fact. It takes like 20 buckets of water to charge one phone. Ile like ku generate electricity ya kuchaji simu moja, nindo 20 za maji. Imagine mtu wako na gadget enye unacharge marakumi kwa siku. How much water do you think you need to get connected? Njoo ukai tu kwa mtandao mtu wakiangalia WhatsApp na kuona uko online. Anyway, that's on a light note. Also, uh, the Nokia T20 tablet supports Google Family Sharing, which means that kama uko na watu hii and you share the device with them, they can browse online safely. Now, the subject on our show tonight is about something most people hate, but I'm sure you will love that we decided to talk about it. I say you will love it because most people hate it, sababu uh, they do not understand, ama most of us do not understand uh, the advantage of kujua, of kujua vile taxes is in our work. In countries kama US, maze, they have arrangements where unayazarudishiwa pesa na serikali jua vile umelipa tax. Alafu, tena an interesting fun fact I learned while researching for this topic, uh, tulipata ati... Tax evasion is a crime, but tax avoidance is a skill. You can avoid to pay tax na usiku umefanya makosa. That caught my attention. You know, you know did you know that ata zawadi peke yake inafaa kutaxiwa? Like gifts should be taxed. Well, this is a matter that affects all of us because it's money that we spend even when we don't have. Now, we have, set, uh, we have on set one of the leading accounting lecturers and tax experts in the country. CPA Susan Wangeshi joins us on the other end of this short commercial break. See you guys in a bit.
Yo, welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm your host Dr. Kingori. Leo tunataka kupiga story ya pesa in a very very interesting perspective. Uh, one of my colleagues anaitwa Hunja hata ajui nime mention kwa TV na sijui hata filaje but nime mention tu cuz is my uh, is my friend on a tax co- consultation perspective uko kwa upande ya pesa. Anamwambia anga hii mazee nimefanya job na katwa 30%. Eh hey, job yote nimefanya na katwa 30%. Iwe ndo wapi inafanya anga nini? And then I met Uh, a lady when uh, are in that area she is actually uh, credited to have taught most of the accountants if not all in Nairobi CPA Susan Wangeshi is in the house Karibu sana karibu Asante sana Ah yes I think kirere yangu tuanze na what is taxation kuna ka definition interesting ulikuwa nayo sana what is taxation Yeah so ukisikia tax ama taxation it is a compulsory contribution you as an individual if you're running a company it's a business it's a compulsory uh, contribution meaning it is a must you pay tax to the government whether you are employed or you are running a business it is a compulsory contribution which enables the government to meet its expenses because it does not have ready sources of income so anytime you hear of tax always know it is a compulsory contribution by persons to the state to okay. enable it to meet its okay. expenses so from a haters perspective mm-hmm. uh, the only difference between do you say compulsory contribution yes, it's the compulsory. only difference between tax na kupigwa ngeta ni ngeta ina percentage the only difference is for taxation we tax where there is an income where tunajua you are making income not everyone kwani ngeta ina income <laughs> Not everyone at least sisi tunaanga as the government looks at for example if you're employed and you are earning 24000 and above unalipa tax but if you are earning below that you are not subjected to tax but get a it do whether uko na 5000 2200 now uh in it was uh, one of the interesting things about this book and the first thing uh by the way she is the author of this book for public finance and taxation made easy yeah. uh is at tax kuna tax evasion na tax avoidance yeah. you can avoid paying tax legally yes please explain that Now when we say of tax avoidance and tax evasion eh? avoidance is where you use maybe tax experts ama we mwenyewe you go study the income tax act vizuri una detect kuna some loopholes you capitalize on those loopholes to reduce your tax burden so hata ukipatikana or if you're caught there is nothing they can do they cannot penalize you they cannot do anything because you capitalized on what is in the income tax act lakini evasion ni ile you want to uh, refuse to pay tax literally maybe una inflate expenses i made 2 million nasema my expenses were 2.1 million you are inflating expenses which you didn't incur lakini I, or, or, ama evasion i'm making an income somewhere and i don't disclose it when i'm filing my returns hiyo ni evasion but when it comes to avoidance tunaangalia for example kuna kitu nilikuwa nakwambia tunaitanga maybe kama allowable deduction najua from my income kama ile salary na at the end of the month i can opt from that salary 5000 i will be putting it in a pension scheme ama uh, i will be putting in a home ownership saving plan it's an institution that is there hiyo pesa ni yangu but i opted to put it there Naiweka hapo I'm saving and it is my money and it will be earning me interest. But because the government want to encourage you to make sure you uh, you own a home, wanakwambia anything you contribute to a home ownership saving plan before we subject you to tax, tunakuwa tunatoa hiyo. Remember the other income, the higher the tax. Kwa hivyo if my income was 50,000 and i'm contributing towards home ownership saving plan maybe na contribute 5000 per month before ni taxiwe kwa hiyo 50 5000 inatolewa i'm taxed on the difference so unaona na pay kiasi less than what i would have given them so i'm capitalizing that loophole to reduce my tax burden so if i capitalize on my side hustle ni bakisha tu 5000 out of doni me save ya nyumba i'll only be taxed on 5000 it a depend umeweka wapi 
how are you capitalizing it? You are capitalizing on those avenues that are present in the Income Tax okay. Act. So a friend of mine told me mm -hmm. that how he compiles Mavitu kwa company yake. Mm -hmm. Every time you buy kitu, every time you buy something, mm -hmm. kuna VAT charged. Mm -hmm. Ukilipa steamer, there's VAT charged. Yes. So when you're tabulating your tax returns, if you compile all the money you've been charged in terms of tax, mm -hmm. there's a way it can be deducted from the money you have made as profits. Is that true? The funny thing is... For your household goods, it's not considered you could reduce your tax burden. Then Actually, you keep particular with metal. Your electricity and your nyumbayako. Now see your office. Your office is sour. Come on, this is where I'm running my business in an office. Eh? And then, kuna hizo electricity bill ni menunua furniture. Iyo VAT, ni taitumia kureduce VAT yenye nalipa at the end of the month. Lakini kama umenunua VAT za nyumba, ama your household goods, iyo uki claim, they will come telling you you evaded tax. That is illegal. Because, <laughs> niki apply for tax, nini, nini, niki eka yo kwa tax, stima ya nyumba. What if I'm working from home? <laughs> uh, th that's what you have to prove. As in, if it is a household, na inaonekana sio ofisi ni yako, yenye unatumia kwa nyumba yako, that one is not allowable in Atama taxation. Yako because the taxman says, eh, you have to match your income with expenses. Expenses which you incur to generate that income. Kwa hivyo, if it is office furniture, that one is okay. If it is office electricity, it's okay. Lakini yako kingori ya kwako nyumbani, ukileta hapo, utafuatwa na utali. Utambo, you are evading tax. Naenda kuweka kiti kama hii kwa nyumba yangu. But then, uh, that said, uh, there is also a benefit that if you are married, it reduces tax. If, let me tell you something interesting. <laughs> it is not that. What happens, actually if you're married, the income that you earn, when it comes to taxation, it's deemed to be your husband's. So the husband oh. is the one who will be called upon to pay tax on your behalf. And the higher the income, the higher the tax. Na kuna kitu tunaitanga in taxation, personal relief. Personal relief inapewa mtu yeyote mwenye analipa tax. Kama saini 28,800. When you're being taxed pale wakikompute tax yako, unatolewa 28,800. That is for the whole year. That is what is happening. Lakini if they tax the husband only, personal relief itakuwa ya mtu mmoja. Currently walileta kitu wakasema, saini nakubaliwa, a woman, a wife, you can do it on your own. The husband can do it on your own. But... If you are working for your husband, husband ameanza kampuni, and you are an employee of that company, any income you are getting will not be deemed yours but your husband's. Ata kama ni apa, for example, NTV, Kingori is working with the wife here. And maybe you control more than 12.5% of the company shareholding. Uh, the income, the wife's income will be deemed husband's. And the husband will be the one who will be called upon to pay tax. So not like I thought, marriage ni asara bado, either way. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, kama ni losses, you carry the baggage. So in any way, kama ni business, you are in partnership, whatever happens, the husband. But currently, you can opt to do it on your own. Okay. Yes. Now, how much responsibility, how much should we hold the tax bodies accountable? Mm -hmm. Ju, I was told of countries that pay tax up to 55%, but people don't complain. Because mm -hmm. they have good hospitals, they have good housing, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, can you refuse to pay tax because you don't see the value of where it's going? Actually, kuna kitu naitanga causes of tax evasion. Na nimewambia, evasion is illegal. Kuna, moja tunasemanga it's a cost. Na moja ni yo, lack of accountability and transparency from the side of the government. Because somebody feels they are taxing me, getting my money, and I cannot see what he's doing. So if the government can come out clean, wakue very transparent and very accountable, ata nikilipa tax, I will not feel bad. Lakini watu wanasema, sisi tunataxiwa, tuna then dio hizo zimepotelea, zimepata mashimo, corruption, corruption. So... That is one thing that is making people evade from paying tax. So unapata there is lack of accountability, lack of transparency on the side of the government. So it is a major <coughs> cause of tax evasion. That one I can tell you for sure. Okay. Yeah. So if everybody paid tax and the government was accountable in the situation as 
of our country Kenya mm -hmm. uh, atufai complain actually uh, ingekuwa ime increase the taxable capacity the taxable capacity is the number of people in the tax brackets wengi sana wange, because kengori if you know by giving this it's helping like uh, more than 20 people or whatever you yes. will comfortably do it but okay. that lack of accountability and transparency yes. is the one that is making people feel like we should not be giving taxes yes 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 yes, yes. yes. Uh, alafu um, when kuna some of the things I had uh, uh, highlighted, one mm -hmm. of them, uh, encouragement of home ownership, that's a, a good advantage mm -hmm. and stuff. But sasa hata kwa home ownership, uh, utakuja bado upigwe tax. Uh, government will get Lakini you. Lakini inapunguza, home ownership saving plan, ama uchukue loan, you buy a house or you construct yours. When you are students who are here and maybe wanafanya CP and wanafanya taxation, they understand what I'm saying. Uh, how it helps. If I take a mortgage, for example, today if you took a loan to buy your own home or maybe to construct or yes. to repair your own residential house, si lazima ulipe hiyo na interest. Yes. Ama interest uh, wa islamu wanaita markup. Yes. So that uh, interest, unaambiwa, before we tax you on your employment income, tutakuwa tunaitoa kwanza. Okay. So it is encouraging people to feel that it is reducing my tax burden. Whatever I would have given KRE have reduced it legally. Yes. And it is encouraging. Because Nikiona in an idea, Ivo, actually come as a tax expert. Look at our pay slips on all how we avoid it. Because we are doing it legally. Mortgage interest, in a, kanasai mortgage kwanza inapeanwa up to 300,000 per annum. Kama ukona mortgage umelipa yo interest yote, ilete itolewe from your, from your from your salary before you are subjected to tax. The interest, not the principal. No, the interest. Ah, but HOSP is his own contribution. So, the homeownership saving plan. One of my favorite things from this book, mm -hmm. ni at taxation of gifts. At you keep your mutu zawadi, KRA pia ineza kuja hapo. Ebu ni tole tax kwa maua. How does that work? Why would you go at, at gifts are only taxable if um, if number one, they, they, they are, they are, if it is the employer who is giving you a gift, eh? for example, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the, by the, have you filed returns? Mukona pin numbers. You have pins. Have you filed your returns? I want a job. You are, <laughs> let me tell you something. Whether you are employed or not, and you have a pin, you must file the return. Tunaita nil. Me file nil returns. If you've not, na, na June pita that yet, Unapata penalty immediately. Penalty or nothing? Yes, because of failure to file nil return. The government just want to confirm you're getting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that, that's it. You file to show them, Mimi, Mimi is student. I'm not employed, you file nil return. If you mm. don't, kama ata ime accumulate. Kama mungine, ni student ulikuwa tunaongea hapa. Alikuwa mechukua. Do you know mtu wakikuambia analikuwa half a million per month? Mm -hmm. Half a million per month. That's roughly 350k per month. Mm -hmm. That's around there uh, about. Around figure. Imagine, like, do you see me to 300? I mean, to salary ako gross ni 500k. That's the difference. Unachua kuna very good percentage in aenda na kiyari, and that's why I uambia even my students, the ones I talk to, when you're negotiating for your salary, you need to be very keen. Ukama unataka 50,000. Be very open to the person who is employing you. Mwambie, it is 50,000 net of tax. Jukisama 50,000, that is not your take home. From that 50,000, lazima wata compute pay as you want, itolewe, upewe, the net 000. income. So you see, uh, tax ni lazima. That's why tunambiwa, at a tax time, yeah, Jesus, it was still there. That's why he gives Caesar what belongs to Caesar. I don't know how Muslims call so, it. So, I, I have this argument, sorry. Oh, you're, you're Muslim, man. I don't, Muslim man, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mimi, we I, give can I consider myself now that Muga wana salary yangu na KRA? Am I a KRA employee? <laughs> <laughs> no, KRA is getting their, their tax from your salary. You are not their employee. That is how government makes money. You must give KRA what belongs to KRA. One of the most controversial conversation kwa taxation, mm -hmm. Nikanisa. Iyo wezi kuza. Actually, actually, ukiangalia status yangu leo, if you look at it, eh, I've just given a ruling we won in court eh, where um, they, they, they had built a church, sita mentioned igani, 5.5 million. Wakawambia, this is what you owe okay, Yari. From all these offering tithes you have been getting, you need to pay us. 
But I was saying, even them even appealing, because kwa tribunal the case was won, then waka appeal, I would have advised KRA, you should not have done that. Because the Income Tax Act says, eh, if an institution is a public in nature or public in character, number two, if it is formed for advancement of religion or education, it should not be subjected to tax. So them, they were arguing, these people do not have tax exemption certificate. But on the other hand, Ukiangalia Income Tax Act, tithes, offerings, uh, donations, they are not subjected to tax. Because tithe, ninyinyi munapeleka, you have already been subjected to tax. Why would it be subjected to another double taxation? What's the practicality of taxing dowry? Ukitishwa ngombe mia? <laughs> Unapeleka ngombe 95, unasema hizo tano ni withholding. <laughs> What's the practicality? Now, uh, dowry, dowry, sijuki ngori umeona wapi, we do not tax dowry, but um, unless, unless umeingia kwa biashara yako ni, ukona watu wengi sana kazi yako tu ni kupeleka wasichana unaletewa dowry, dowry, dowry. We need to prove that is the business you are doing. Lakini, <laughs> lakini kama ni uh, umepata mrembo, unaenda unalipa dawari, babaki hata taxi wa for that. Mm. Apana. Asante sana, I believe there is so much we can talk about on lot, We are happy to uh, set, uh, set up another conversation. Yeah. But for today, tumepata kitu, sindio? Aya wazi. Asante sana, wapi makofi yake? Thank you. Thank you very much. And how can potential tax avoidance uh, clients ama upcoming tax nini get your services ah uh, ukienda facebook am cpa wangeshi warue ama wangeshi warue that's my personal account wangeshi warue or cpa wangeshi warue and we also do so many things Ciao, that's it for the weekend edition see you next week my name is dr kingori